A Basenet Intermedia Group production. For stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Julie Marie about Los Angeles. Happy Halloween. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and I'm here in Anaheim at the Harvest Festival on the Crap Show, where we're going to see some unique displays of homemade items and food that one can take home. At this year's Harvest Festival, there were over 24,000 handcrafted originals for locals to take home over the three-day weekend. Knots of Love, a nonprofit group dedicated to making hats and blankets for local hospitals, showed people where to start their day by purchasing a shopping bag for only a dollar. Everybody knows about Knots of Love. And, uh, it's amazing the amount of people that will tell, them, tell you different stories of how it's affected their lives. And here we are, 172,000 caps later. That's how many we've donated. So we're just meeting people and we always need more knitters and crocheters. <laughs> there were also local farmers who provided free samples in hopes that people would buy their products. We have 20 different flavors, all natural. We have crab, lobster, has the real shellfish in them, no imitation. Um, they're, they're, uh, we consider the best dips on earth. So we started with three things, which was our syrup marinade and grill mm -hmm. sauce. And now we have uh, seven. So, and we're just keep, our motto is really just everything you can think of with pomegranate. It's like a, it has a tartness, but then it also has a sweet undertone, so it can really develop a flavor uh, well without overpowering. It's a very soft, mellow flavor, so you kind of had to use it in a correct way. So that it doesn't either disappear or it doesn't overpower you. And they leave the fruit on the tree until it's literally falling off right. Has no shelf life. Mm -hmm. It has to be processed immediately after it's picked. Yeah. Can't go to a grocery store, can't go to a farm stand, can't even make it to a farmer's market because mm -hmm. it, it won't last a day. But it's fruit like you would believe. World yeah. class. The powerhouse cloggers entertain people with their tap, clogging, and percussive dancing. I had a lot of fun. I didn't think that could be so much fun to just throw out there and do whatever, but it was a lot of fun. There was also a line of homemade clothing for those with more of a fashion sense. We like to keep ladies really feminine, so we can say that's our job to keep ladies feminine and we're the feminine department. This is one of my Victorian touring hats um, that's made for a witch. So we like to design, I design these this time of the year for the ladies to wear to their different events and their parties. And a new writer brought a land of mystical characters to share with children of all ages. And they're all the fairies of Forever Forest and each one teaches a different little life lesson. Um, each, each fairy is in charge of a different part of the forest, a different job in the forest. The pillow doll in the book, that's the character that goes with it. Mm -hmm. So before they learn to read, they can snuggle with the doll and their mom can read them the story, or dad can. And then once they start learning to read, learning to read is sometimes stressful. So mm -hmm. having the doll to hang on to and hug, that might help a little bit. Here was a harvest festival stage, residents could sit back and enjoy ice cold beverages and delicious foods while listening to the mini musical talents of Anaheim. Los Angeles.